What's up everybody? This is Mike and welcome back to another video. So good to finally be back. I think it feels like ages since I posted my last video on YouTube, but I have a pretty good reason for that. As you might be able to see, I have a wedding band on. So that means I'm married and I'm actually on my honeymoon right now here in the beautiful Maldives with my wife spending some amazing time uh, and uh, probably one of my next videos will be a travel video uh, so you can see what I'm up to here in the Maldives but uh, actually today I feel quite exhausted for all of the activities that I've been uh, taking part of and uh, I figured I might as well just sit back relax and take the time to record this video what's in my backpack video that I wanted to do for so long and this is my travel backpack that I've been using for this trip it's the low pro uh, 450 pro tactic mark ii uh, i love this backpack it's actually quite full right now with all of the gear that i'm bringing here for my honeymoon but before we start with the backpack let me just show you i'm not going to make a full uh, room tour but there is one thing that i really want to show you that i think you're going to love and let me show you the bathroom this is honestly my favorite part of our beach villa check this out this is a shower that is right under the sky the palm trees banana trees there is a palm very tall palm here and uh, it's it feels so relaxing relaxing to take a shower here i actually took a shower yesterday while it was raining so it was a pretty weird feeling but i enjoyed it a lot um, here it is, the other section of the bathroom. We have a bathtub as well. And uh, of course, we gotta have this flamingo uh, toy <laughs> that we take to the beach sometimes. And this really is the best thing ever. Taking a shower here every single day has been one of the best things uh, about this trip. But anyway, let's get back to the room and I'll show you what's in my backpack. Right, so here we are back again and I'm ready to open this backpack and show you everything that I have inside. Before we begin though, let me just remind you that everything that I'm going to talk about will be linked in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, the backpack itself, like I said, is the Low Pro 450 Pro Tactic Mark II. Uh, and it's all weather uh, sealed so if you um, if, in case it starts raining you can just pull out this thing and put it over the back it's very very uh, nice to have and it doesn't take any space it's literally on the bottom of the backpack so you never think about it uh, and I really like this it has saved me a couple of times already so let me just open it like this and I'll just pull out everything from the backpack one by one. So once I open it, uh, you will see this section here first. Uh, first, let me just open this laptop compartment. This is my previous laptop that I had. Uh, this is the MacBook Pro 2016 um, with the core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM. It was okay for a while, but uh, now my wife is using it as a uh, I just need more power to edit my videos, so I'm using a Mac Mini. But for traveling, I decided to take this so I can transfer my footage uh, to my uh, external hard drive, so that would be easier. So I brought this with me, and uh, this laptop uh, compartment is very soft and very comfortable to uh, hold your laptop. So this is the first thing. Next, we have this external hard drive, a one terabyte Sony uh, hard drive. I bought it recently just so I can transfer all of the footage that I record here in the Maldives, just so I can start fresh. Uh, my other hard drive was almost full, so I decided to uh, just get another one uh, and that's it. Of course, I had to have a um, a couple of dongles here and this uh, USB SD card reader. It, uh, it's really saving my life every time I transfer my footage to my computer. Next compartment is this dongle, of course, by Anchor. 
it has three ports for USB 3 and one USB-C port for charging. I don't really uh, enjoy using this, but it does the job just fine. So uh, I'm using that when I'm using the MacBook Pro. Next, I have uh, an external battery for charging my phone. My other devices that needs to be uh, that need to be charged, I use this. It's not a very uh, large portable battery, but it's fine for just uh, a couple of flights, and uh, it can charge my phone twice. Next, I have some headphones, the iPhone headphones, and I also have these uh, Jux headphones that I got sent recently for review, uh, but I don't really plan to review them because I'm really not happy with the quality. These are uh, wireless uh, Bluetooth headphones and they are very similar to um, the AirPods. Um, you can see the level of the charge that you have here with the dots uh, and they, um, they turn on automatically when you uh, put them in your ear, but I'm definitely not impressed with uh, the sound quality, so I don't plan to use them anymore. I'm sorry, Jux, uh, it is what it is, this is the truth. The headphone design and uh, the, the build quality is great, but as far as sound, I don't really think they are as good as the other Bluetooth headphones out there. So, it is what it is. And that's everything from these uh, compartments here on the top. Now I have this, uh, this is where I normally keep my camera, but of course I'm using that camera to film right now. Uh, but instead I've put this little low pro um, package that holds all of my cables, all of my chargers, just so I can uh, not lose them. And uh, I have quite a lot of different ones. I have uh, the charger for my camera, the charger for, of course I'm going to mess everything up, the charger for my drone, and a USB-C charger for everything else that I have. So let's just move it out of the way. Uh, next, I have uh, uh, the microphone slot where I keep my Rode VideoMic Pro, which I'm using right now, but I also have this Dead Cat accessory that I'm only using outside, but uh, in this pocket is where I keep everything. I have the Peter McKinnon variable ND filter, which is also on the camera right now. I'm not using it, but it's installed on the camera. And uh, I keep the case here in case I need to uh, take it out. I also have my Mavic 2 Pro ND 2000 filter for long exposure photos from Freewell. I love this one. And here I have a couple of other cases with filters. And let me just quickly go through them one by one. This is the Osmo Action uh, ND1000 filter for long exposure photos from Freewell. And I also have some um, Polar Pro filters for the Osmo Action. I brought them all with me. Next, I have my drone filters, which are right here. This is the Cinema Series Polar Pro ND filters, uh, ND4, ND8, ND16, and all of their polarized versions as well. And in case I need some more filters for my Mavic 2 Pro, I have this package from Freewell. This is the brand new design of their package and I really love it's magnetic. Um, it has a better cutout for the filters themselves. So you don't really uh, have this problem of losing the filters while traveling because they were always going around in the case. Now everything is very solid and I love the new package. Next we have this uh, uh, pouch here which holds a couple of um, different accessories mostly for my Osmo Action for mounting uh, mounting it to different surfaces and uh, I just hold them here uh, in case I want to use them and I don't want to um, to lose them so they are very safe and secure in this pouch. Next in this pocket here on the top I have my Insta360 the camera that I really, really love. I've been using it so much uh, here in the Maldives and uh, I honestly feel like this camera is just amazing because you won't miss the moment with it. As long as you hold it properly, it will record everything around you and then you can uh, select the right angle and just uh, compose your shot 
the way you want it to look. So that's why I really want to bring this camera with me everywhere I go. I love it. And I also have a couple of cases for that camera. This is the underwater case for the Insta360. I haven't tried it yet, to be honest, but I used this one. This is the Venture case. And the difference between those two cases is the fact that this is for underwater use only. And this one is splash proof and um, you can use it over the water. So I was riding some jet ski and uh, I used this thing so I can protect the camera from the water splashes. Uh, but in, in case I want to dive with the camera, I will use this one. Of course, I have this bullet time stick for the Insta360. I love having this thing with me. And of course, I have this other Insta360 mount that I'm constantly using with my Osmo Action. It just feels so comfortable, very compact, and it feels natural to keep uh, the camera like this and to record like this. So that's how I uh, combined these two things together. So the Osmo Action and the Insta360 um, tripod. I use them together all the time. And uh, I highly advise you, if you have both of these, use them together, it's, it's a nice setup to have. Next, I have this little pouch here that holds my two other batteries for the Insta360. I go through batteries very quickly, so it's nice to have three in total. So I never miss any shots that I want to take. And then I have my Mavic 2 Pro controller, some batteries for the drone too, and one which is on the drone itself, and it's right here. The drone is right here. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. Everything else is already here on the couch. Uh, well, yeah, actually we have a couple more compartments that I want to show you. Here on the side, we have a little side pocket. This is where I normally keep my passport, my wallet, anything else. And we have the same pocket, which is on the other side. And here I have, what do I have? A pack of gum. So. It's nice that these are uh, quite compact, very close to the backpack. They don't stick out as much as uh, I thought they would. And also on the top, you have a really cool, uh, very strong handle that is also rubberized. And you have uh, an extra pocket that opens and it allows you to, uh, to see what you have inside your uh, backpack. So here is where my camera sits normally. I don't really use that. Uh, but it's nice to, to have this option to open it from the top. And one last thing is that you have, once you open this thing, you have one more zipper here. Um, I actually don't have anything here, but uh, it says 32 gigabytes. So you can uh, put your SD cards here or anything small that you don't want to lose. You can put it here in this pocket. That's pretty much it. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Let me just put it very quickly so I can show you what else I have. This is uh, the Peak Design uh, Quick Capture, I think. Uh, this is a, a mounting clip for your camera. Uh, I bought it recently, just before my trip here. And it's really cool because you can easily mount your camera. You can place it like this and it will just uh, point downwards and it installs very easily. I will show you a picture uh, on the screen so you can see how the camera looks when it's mounted here. And then if you want to release it, you press this pin here and just pull it out of the of the clip and it's ready to use. It's very, very useful thing to have if you're constantly on the go and you always want to uh, use your camera, then you need to put it back. You want to use it again in case you don't want to constantly uh, open your backpack and put it back in the backpack. You can just use this clip and it's uh, quite nice to have. So that's pretty much it. That's everything that I have for you for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, once again, it's good to be back. Uh, many, many videos will follow after this one with all of my recent adventures from the Maldives and other products that uh, are coming to the channel very soon. Thank you so much for your support, for watching this video all the way through. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.